Over 20 unique professional quality software instrument sounds captured in one of London's most prestigious sound stages. A dedicated app and plugin with fully featured clutter free and focused controls. Presets and sounds sculpted by some of the brightest and best composers, engineers and musicians on the planet. Sounds pretty good, right? How much would you be willing to pay for something like that? This is Labs from Spitfire Audio, an infinite series of software instruments made by musicians and sampling experts in London for anyone, anywhere. It is, in my opinion, an essential instrument plugin for any garage band music maker. The best part about Labs? It's completely free. Let's dive in. Labs is an ongoing experiment of sorts by Spitfire Audio. They've got a fairly stellar reputation in the world of film and television scoring for providing top tier virtual instruments and sample libraries. They've worked with Hans Zimmer for sake. If that's not a mark of quality, I don't know what is. Anyway, Labs began with a single free instrument, a rather festive sleigh bell sound and has since grown to 23 unique virtual instruments in total, at the time of recording, that is. These instruments sounds range from fairly straightforward things like drums, choir sounds, strings to more ambient and left field sounds found in the Opia pack pedal pads or London Atmos. To get your hands on these Labs instruments, you'll first have to create an account on Spitfire Audio's website. Easiest way to do this is just click the Get button next to any of the Labs instruments and fill out the form that pops up. When asked if you already have the Spitfire Audio app, click No and you'll be able to install the app from the next window. Once the DMG installer has downloaded, open it and as instructed, drag the Spitfire app icon into your Applications folder. Once that's done, open the Spitfire Audio app on your Mac and log in when prompted. From here, you can go back to the Labs instrument you originally chose to get and continue, or click Get under a different instrument if you want. In GarageBand itself, you access the Labs instrument plugin by heading to Smart Controls, clicking on the Instrument section in the Plugins menu, and navigating through Audio Unit Instruments, Spitfire Audio, and Labs. The Labs instrument itself is really clean and easy to find your way around. The controls are instrument specific, so in the Scary Strings instrument, for example, you have an expression slider which controls the volume of the instrument, but not the overall output volume, You'll find that control in the top right of the interface.
The slider in the middle controls dynamics. In this scary strings instrument, this crossfades between available recorded velocities. It's worth noting that if you're playing with an attached MIDI controller, you can use the mod wheel, if it has one, to affect Lab's dynamic controls in real time. The big control in the middle here controls the Scary Strings Instruments reverb by default. If you click in the middle, you can change this control to affect attack and release parameters for the instrument too. You have some more controls and some info at the top of the interface here as well. The previously mentioned master volume, a pan control and MIDI channel options, as well as a presets menu. Here you can select from the different labs instruments and the presets that you have installed. You can also search for labs instruments by type using the menu on the left here if you want. If I select the Opia instrument, for example, you'll see that you get a lot more control options than you do in the Scary Strings instrument. Fair warning, it's incredibly easy to lose hours of your life exploring labs. The super high quality sounds on offer here are a joy to play around and create with. If you've only really played and recorded with the software instrument sounds that Apple have provided with GarageBand, you'll be absolutely blown away by the quality of the sounds found here. They're just on a whole different level, to be honest. So there you have it, that Spitfire Audio's Labs. I urge you to go right now and download these incredible instruments. There really is nothing else out there quite like them, and certainly not for free. I'll put links to Spitfire Audio's labs down in the description below. So what do you think? Will you be getting your hands on some of these labs instruments? Which ones in particular tickle your fancy? Or if you've been using labs already for a while now, which one do you like best and why? I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.